Oh, not another one of those. <laughs> another Baofeng radio. Oh my goodness. Uh, so next time, tell me, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't buy these. <laughs> but uh, I kind of got suckered into this one and I kind of wanted to make this video um, so other people don't get suckered into this thing. I think there are a few videos out there, but your mileage may vary. Um, let me, let me kind of tell you what happened to me and uh, uh, hope, hopefully it'll save you, uh, save you the angst. Um, so this is the new uh, BF UV10R and uh, it's got that it's got that nice number on it, UV10R, and it was claimed to be 10 watts. And so um, it was super cheap. I mean, it's like 30 bucks or something, right? Um, and I just didn't believe it was 30 watts. There was just uh, 30 watts, 10 watts. I just didn't believe it was 10 watts, right? It's like, no, I, I don't think so, right? And I looked at it and went, well, you know, it looked like maybe the battery's a little bit bigger on it, and it might look like a little bit bigger, and I don't know, maybe it is. 10 watts and then the and then my 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 brain got the better of me and said oh you should just buy one because it's 10 watts and it'd be, it'd be a good it'd be a good video to do <laughs> so anyway yeah let's take a look at this thing um so this is a uh, uh this is a bf uh, f8 plus um and so if we look at the two side by side uh the new radio is bigger okay it is a little bit taller um, and so you think oh well okay bigger is more power right and you look at it this way and the battery is different the the mine has a TNC on the back but um, yeah the battery is bigger the buttons are the buttons are different uh, it's got the same type of display um, the buttons are different though the buttons are real beefier. This, this just seems like a beefier radio in general than, than this one. Uh, the antennas are different. That was interesting. Why did they redo the antenna? Um, it, it, it actually, I don't like this antenna. It's really not that flexible. It's just kind of a stiff piece of stuff, plastic. And this one's got a nice rubbery duck, ducky, duck, ducky type antenna on it. So it's a better antenna. I tested this antenna once and it's a really nice antenna. This one does not have the really nice antenna on it. So I'm assuming it doesn't have very good quality either. But anyway, what it, whatever it is. I mean, it's an HD. You don't need to have perfect stuff. Um, so uh, the the real reason for the video is, yeah, is it 10 watts? But people are going to want to know what, what comes with it. So, so there's an interesting thing about it also. Um, comes with a comes with an instruction manual. comes with a drop-in charger that's not the same as the old one. So you can't use your old charger with this radio. Um, so that was, that was a big bummer. I didn't like that at all. Uh, so this one has three contacts in the back. This only has two contacts in the back on their different spacing. So yeah, you can't use your old Baofeng drop in charger, which are great. I really love those things. And this one, it's really hard to get it in the right way. A lot of people think it's broken to begin with. And I did too. It, see, I can't even do it. It's really, really hard to get in there. So this is just a complete fail, this drop in charger. It's just a complete fail. And it doesn't seem to have a light that tells you whether it's charged or not. It's just a light that comes on and just stays on forever. So that, the, the, as far as I can tell, this, this thing is absolutely useless. And it, it came with a 220 anyway. Anyway, I think this part of it is just completely useless. Now it did come, it did come with this thing, which is something that the other radio did not have. And that is a USB charger. Yeah, that's right, a USB charger. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Um, and there's an there's an extra connector on the battery pack. It's actually on the battery pack. There's this there's this hole here, and you can plug this charger in here, and you can charge it with USB. And oh, it's a green light. Um, and the, this light does work. It does tell you when it's charging and when it's done charging. So this 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 thing works. Um, now the problem with this uh, uh, with this hole here is that whoever the mold maker was was just an idiot. Uh, I'll I'll put some pictures uh, right here, and you can see it's got this super super sharp uh, corner. And that's that's completely ridiculous, right? Because it's a handheld device. You're going to rub against that all the time. So I took a file to mine and rounded it all off, and uh, now it's acceptable. But I 
I can't believe they actually released a product with those sharp edges. It's just totally brain dead. Um, so anyway, that's one thing you need to fix. But it's easy to fix. You get out a file, and zip, 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 and a couple of minutes later, you got a nice roundy thing. Um, it also has this weird screw here. Um, it holds on this this flap. Uh, the old one didn't have that, it, so it's got this weird screw. I don't know why they, what possessed them to have a screw here unless they want to have some attachment that stays permanently attached to the, to the, I don't know, it's weird. And, and the edges of the, sh of the screw are really, really sharp too. And you put your hand against it, they were really, really sharp. So I had to file off that screw too. So anyway, two, two bad things about, about this radio so far. Um, it, it acts a lot like a 5U. Uh, what were the U5s or 5Us? Anyway, you know the one, the, the, the ubiquitous one. I say that word a lot. Um, and it does have a colored uh, LED L LEDs. My other radio doesn't have colored LEDs, so this one does. So it'll scan on one. Uh, uh, it'll scan with purple, and then when it finds something, I have it set to go to orange. Um, so... Yeah, so, let's see. Zero, seven, one. Mostly sunny, temperature 66, dew point 40. Okay, so, I mean, it, it's a bad thing. It, it, it does all the stuff, and I, I could download it with Chirp and, and, and everything. So, um, let's go ahead and take the antenna off, and let's take it over to the, uh, take it over the test set and see if this thing outputs 10 watts. All right, we're going to be using the, uh, 8921. Uh, I've got the, uh, the Baofeng hooked up to the input, and I'm going to be transmitting on two meters, uh, 144 megahertz, and I key it down, and there we go. There's our 10 watts. Um, uh, frequency's right, but yeah, 4.4. It's actually less power than my other radio, uh, which is the high power version of the Baofeng. It's like six and a half watts. Uh, it's good, the uh, HP 8 Plus, um, and uh, yeah, it will transmit, uh, but yeah, no good. What's the, what was the deviation they wanted? Four, four kilohertz, okay. Um, anyway, so let's do 440 megahertz. Uh, this is the 440 repeater, and there we go, 4.6 watts. Uh, yeah. Deviation's the same. Anyway, yeah, complete fail. So, don't waste your money. Um, the funny thing was, uh, these things to be, seem to be advertised all over the place. You know, 10 watts, 10, you know, 12, 8 watts, all, all kinds of different numbers depending on, on who you're buying them from. And I think the manual, uh, let me get out the manual here because I think the manual had a different a different number on it. Okay, so here's the manual. And right here it says RF power, eight watts. So the manual says it's supposed to do eight watts. It does four and a half. So fail, fail, fail. So I don't know if it's a real Baofeng or it's a, just a, a clone, you know, and, and I mean, you know, it's nice and red. It's, it's different. I kind of like the looks of it. I didn't, I didn't at first, but now I kind of like the looks of it. So, um, and it's bigger though. So why, why buy a bigger radio with less power? Um, it's a non-standard, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, don't buy one of these.